Why you got your my lashes like that? Cause it's Christmassy. Look, they are. They're Christmassy. No. Ass <laughs> nigga. Damn. Man, she lying to me. <laughs> I take tips. Man, I take tips like a mother. She lying to me. Man, she got me. Stuck. Nigga, I take tips. Shit, I get it off the floor of the dress. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind no hoe paying me. Man, please, this cigar money. Yeah, you talking about it. I might go get to another hoe tonight in the name of tipping. Kiss you talking about. Thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah, now them eyelashes got me. Man, I don't want, man, I, I thought it was spiders or something. Man, them eyelashes got me. I couldn't really see them eyes. Man, she hiding them eyes, man. Shit, motherfucker, cut them ties and, man, man, set the trash can on fire. <laughs> that pretty motherfucker. <laughs> Did them Michael Jordan tennis shoes? Yeah, these look No! <laughs> no! No! Michael Jordan tennis shoes is a problem from pre K to the jailhouse. Wait, what's wrong with Michael Jordan tennis shoes? Man, I don't do nothing. With the black with no... cats, baby, what you talking about? It's them Michael Jordans, though. But these the Jordans, baby. I don't baby. want these nothing to foes. do with nobody that wear Michael Jordan tennis shoes. Well, what you got on with them? Man, is? I ain't, this ain't got nothing to do with what, you, baby. This... I'm just saying. Man, you from the ghetto. No, no I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> I'm from the north, baby. <laughs> you tripping. Wait, what Michael Jordan do? The north? Yeah, what Michael <laughs> so Jordan what about do? Jordan? She said she from the north. No. No. <laughs> no. She representing the north. Straight at, yeah, straight no, like buddy. that. Boy, she gonna have them cuz robbing you, sit kicking your oh, ass. I don't do none of that, baby. It's all true. She got a black here. Michael Jordan tennis shoe. I went to jail the other week. Everybody in the holding tank had on Michael Jordan tennis shoe. No. Oh, <laughs> Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, babe. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't know what to do about that. It ain't got nothing to do with you, baby. It's your choice of shoes. That's okay, all. so what about other than that than the shoes? What's up, what's up with that? I can't get past the Michael Jordan tennis shoe. You cute, you pretty, you petite, all that pretty brown skin. All but boy, the Michael... You be trying to give you trying to pay for hair like this, though. No, 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 no. You got on Michael Jordan tennis shoe. What is that supposed to mean? Everything to me. I don't want to stand out. That's that booty meat. She needs to go that way. No. No. I don't like booty <laughs> meat. No. I don't like nothing about this. She sang about six red, and that's that she talking about. Man, get to the little girl out here. What you got to say to him? She ain't got nothing to say. No. Booty me, no. All I said was hi. Bye. <laughs> no <laughs> booty me. Look at all that booty me. It's hanging. I see it. I it's hanging. That. I see it. Nigga, she can't get mad because I don't like sexy red. What's wrong with sexy red? Booty me. I hate that song, nigga. And they walk around with that booty me. I love sexy red. Damn, um, that's crazy. No booty meat? Say, uh, ugly, black, shiny, forehead ass <laughs> Say what I said. What I said. <laughs> you pressing me about the Michael Jordan tennis shoe girl in world. Nah, I said what I said, my nigga. I ain't from the ghetto. Yeah. They just threw you in her, didn't they? Absolutely. <laughs> I know goddamn well they did. Y'all just, y'all done went and just, just threw her in here. Yep. Y'all done run out of girl and just went and got her and brought her in here. <laughs> Why y'all doing me like this, nephew? Why they just didn't stop with what they had? No, nephew. <laughs> Appreciate you. Y'all wrong with a motherfucker, man. Yeah, no, goddamn, nephew, you gonna do me like that? They getting to the bottom of the world, the... people. Yeah, they scraping the bottom of the goddamn world for oh, now. Not trust that. Hey, I'm Avery. Man, I brought a white girl in here with our fourth one. <laughs> He more than I do, man, so I don't give a damn oh, about nothing. Shit. You done brought a white girl in here with Air Force mother one. Because I'm white, but you riding dick. That's a huge difference, so. The white girls I like wouldn't dare wear no pearl nigga Air Force one. Don't do me like that, nigga. Damn. You brought these ghetto white girls in here for me, nigga, now. I didn't play. Okay, I got one more question real quick. How do you feel about Shamar? Who is that? It's like this little sensation guy. I don't even know who that is. Hey, Shamar. Oh, oh. 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 Hey. what the f***? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, interview over? Huh? I told you don't bring it. Not it's over. What's going on? Oh man, well they playing on Charleston White's top now. Uh Unghetto gave his uh oh what they do everyday people, man. It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. We're back in the confessional. Yes, we stay in lit big dog, man. Shout out to my everyday people who rock with me every day. Make sure y'all hit the links in the description and send your screenshots to everyday thing with PJ on Instagram, man. And you can get into the win of 15k subscriber giveaway, man. Let's get into it, man. The Unghetto. 
he gave a rendition of what happened afterwards and why he didn't give the back end and why he felt sorry that he ended up giving the back end. And then he was like, oh, we got contracts, we got this, and all the old heads is coming after me and this and that and this and that. Look, man, everybody ain't playing. Everybody ain't playing. So, you know, if you had your contract and you, you got little details in there that you're going to make it seem like, Oh, we can bring whoever we want or whatever. And if you didn't know who you was bringing, see, it's a lot of stuff that makes sense but don't make sense. It makes sense to have a contract. It makes sense to, you know, leave out certain details, but it doesn't make sense for the host not to know what's going on. Okay, so why you blaming him for not knowing what's going on, you didn't either. And you think that's a shock, you know what I'm saying? And I think you did it for shock by you. And listen, Charleston White did exactly what he was supposed to do so you should actually break that bread you should have gave that back in because all of charles everything that happened with charles to white has went up actually faster than your other you know 20 b1 okay let's keep it real man those other ones nobody watched um well people watched them boosie um what's his name i think soldier boy Maybe Blueface was on there. I think. I don't know. I can't recall because I didn't watch him. Charleston White, people turned up for him. Why? Because we seen the antics. And the antics are the ones that get the clicks. The ones to get the people to uh, watch the full interview. The ones that people get to watch the things that you come up with after that because he was in that. That's what that does. So as you capitalize on it, as you should... You should understand, it's part of business. You wanted the antics, right? You got it. So you might be mad at him because he walked off, he didn't fulfill his contract. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. And it was get people to watch your show. And that's what he do. If you don't remember him, if you don't recall what he did at DJU's first interview, when he pulled out the gun and they capitalized on that, and that was to bring in the viewers. And you see that clip went like 2 million. The interview when it came out, 2 million off tops. Hey, man. Sometimes you got to learn how business rolls and you got to learn how show business rolls. Okay? That's just a fact. Um, so, I hope you paid that, man. This was a great video. Um... It was enjoyable. Your explanation was, it wasn't really warranted. You had everything under control. You didn't owe anybody any explanation of why what, why you kept the money or whatever. If you kept the money, you kept the money. Just own up to it. Own that, hold that. You took, you kept the money. You didn't feel like you wanted to pay them. It is what it is. Ain't nobody tripping off that. You are. Everyday people, man, let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna holler at you later. Peace.